Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Super Battle Road McGee. As you can see, I never beat the Super Battle Road, or at least not until now. Uh, but thankfully, your boy Baby Vegeta came through and blessed us, because this team is actually really fun. As you can see, it's kind of mong. You know, I have Birder. I have, you know, Hellstorm 17. Uh, everyone else was pretty good, but I brought them just because they dodge fairly regularly. And they're pretty good. And I also included a snippet of what this team looks like from a category standpoint. So as you can see on the left, that's the category team, quote-unquote, where it's key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Um, and the category ain't that bad, honestly. I like the fact that you can bring TUR Tech Cell and LR Cell. Or you could do TUR Tech Cell and the uh, free-to-play um, L, uh, not LR, Phi Support Cell, which is pretty good. Uh, but for me personally, I think my favorite rotation for the category team is probably Baby paired with um, Buhan. Because Baby, every time Baby does a super attack, he lowers attack. And if he gets his ultra super attack, he lowers attack and defense. Uh, which actually, it adds up. And it, it is pretty useful. And when you have him and Buhan together, they both lower attack. And they both, I believe they both lower defense. I know Buhan lowers defense, um, attack. Um, and eventually Buhan's gonna get an easy A, and that man's gonna be a fucking monster. Like, that's ridiculous. And by the way, I love Baby's, uh, SA-12, uh, SA, that animation's fire. And look at this, look at that. Buhan goes, BAH! Get him out of here. Put this bum in the shower. Uh, and the category team is pretty straightforward. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically what you've already seen from most category teams. Pretty good defense, pretty good HP. Although Baby does not have, um, Fierce Battle, he has Shattering the Limit. It's not a big deal. A lot, uh, similarly to LR Maj and Vegeta, Baby usually has attack plus 150 percent in certain scenarios. So, for example, this battle right here with the Bardock squad, he has attack plus 150 percent because they're pure saints. And look at this. This is this is the piece de resistance. This is why this character is so fun to play with. Is the fact that he turns into a great ape quite regularly. He has a very high chance, either a high chance or very high chance, to turn into a great ape when HP is 40 percent or below. And he actually has a pretty good passive. A lot of the Great Apes had a problem of getting key to do a super attack. But this baby in Great Ape form gets plus one key per orb. So as you can see here, this these keys I'm about to get, I actually get an ultra super attack. And that's another thing that sets him apart from other Great Apes is the fact that because you know he's an LR, he basically has the ability to get an ultra super attack uh, as an ape. And it does a lot of damage. He's a fucking god. And it's really fun, honestly. I mean, uh, it... He transforms a lot. I definitely would recommend if you end up getting lucky and pulling this guy. You know me. You know, you saw the pulls on the alt account. Wasn't looking too good. Main account came through. Um, but he's really fun to play in Super Battle Road just because of the fact that he does go great ape regularly. And it's just fucking crazy. And as a matter of fact, I do have an AGL Tapion. And now I'm interested to see, like, what it would be like. I don't know if they have a Giants category Super Battle Road. But if they did, I'd be interested to see how good that performs. Because... A lot of these, like, you go straight into the battle, and if your HP is lower than 40%, he will transform. Although, as you can see here, he did not transform. So that's that's the thing. It is RNG at the end of the day, because I actually didn't know it was RNG, because the first time I was doing this, he went Great Ape every time. I'm like, holy shit, this guy's a guaranteed Great Ape god. Um, but then I found out after him not going Great Ape that, oh shit, it's actually RNG. But irregardless, he's a really fun character. I definitely think the Great Ape characters... Um, are really fun. Granted, Great Ape characters aren't that great to run on, like, teams. Like, a lot of times you would need a Great Ape team or, you know, a Pure Saints team or, like, niche teams. But this baby is a little bit more flexible. You could put him on an Extreme team. You could put him on a Extreme AGL team. You could put him on his own category team. So I feel like I would use him more than, um, you know, for example, like, let's say Tech Bardock or STR Fashion. Another thing is he's really fucking good. Like, he, he lo First of all, his ultra super attack, once you get him to SA-20, I believe, he uh, lowers attack and defense, and then his SA-12 lowers attack. So he actually does a lot of shit. Like, he actually is doing stuff. Um, and I think, I don't know if it ever showcases in the, here, but uh, his, his damage reduction actually does pay off. Like, after three supers, people start doing, like, double-digit damage if they're not supering. Um... Which is pretty cool because he actually has some utility. And, and wait a second. Hold up. Wait a moment. Your boy, Birder, your boy, 17, are on the scene. They call him the Dodge Kings. They out here dodging. Actually, I, I tell you right now, that 17 is really fucking good, dude. Like, don't sleep on that free-to-play AGL 17. 
because that 17 has his own passive. He has a better chance to dodge. Uh, and then you just put dodges on that motherfucker and make sure he, make sure he's dodging out here. Um, but yeah, extreme AGL. I've never had a very good extreme AGL team. Very you know you know kind of situational. Uh, so this baby Vegeta, he really fucking carries, keeping a buck. And I actually was kind of sort of contemplating trying to do like no items for this. I think you could do it if you got really lucky for the transformation. So for example. The first time I did this, I did no items up until the final fight. Like, I got through everything, I got to the final fight, and that's because every single time Baby could transform, he did transform. Uh, but as you see there, if you get unlucky and he does not transform, then you're fucking left there with your dick swinging, and you probably have to heal or you probably have to do something. Um, but he is really fucking strong, and the max attack he could ever have is attack plus 200%. And the reason why that is, is that he gets attack plus 100 He gets key plus 3 attack 100% no matter what. If there's a hybrid Sans category enemy, he gets key plus 3 and attack plus 50%. If there's a pure Sans category enemy, he gets key plus 3 and attack plus 50%. So, if you have, for example, what's coming up right now, Vegeta and Trunks. Vegeta is a pure Sans category. Trunks is a hybrid Sans category. And this baby actually gets a 200% attack boost, which is fucking crazy. And of course, we go into the battle. And where's baby? Where baby at? He ain't here. So we're going to have to use Wheeze to make sure we don't fucking die. Um, but yeah, it's honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I purposely don't pay attention to shit because I don't want to get hyped. And I'm going to be honest, I did not look into, listen, I'm going to be honest, I did not look into any of the fucking LR trio or LR baby. I'm like, I'm not watching those videos. I'm not trying to get hyped. The only video I saw, uh, I think it was in February, is, I don't know who the fuck made the video, but it was like a, a showcase of baby Vegeta similar to this in Super Battle Road, where he's just fucking transforming like a crazy fuck similar to this video. And I'm like, oh, I had to click off this shit. I'm like, I'm never going to get him. But ended up getting him, got lucky. I, I got really lucky, honestly, with all the shit that I've gotten from, like, the banners as well as the ticket sums. The ticket sums have been better for me, uh, honestly. But, dude, this is, like, this is so much fucking fun. Like, I definitely, like, here's the thing about Baby. I think the fact that he gets plus one key is huge because... Because he gets that plus one key, you can actually get his ultimate attack quite regularly. You basically need, like, a, what, either six or eight orbs. Um, and you get it. Like, you will always get his ulti uh, ultimate attack if you have at least six orbs, I believe. Um, so, that is huge. If you have him as a double leader, that is, because he'll give you um, plus four per leader. And as you can see there, uh, Great Apes, they updated it a while ago, where your... Um, your orb system actually goes through and actually works. So it act so if you get a dupe of him somehow, that's actually pretty valuable because once he goes great ape, this motherfucker starts critting. We critting for big numbers. We making big damage out here, boy. Uh, and as you can see, he also has a chance to, much like the other great apes, he does have a chance to continue being a great ape. And when that happens, it's fucking over. Like you, all you need for if there's two enemies or less. Um, you just need, like, two rotations, and they're fucking cooked. They're, like, completely fucking cooked, toasted, roasted. Put them in the fucking oven. Put some garnish on them. Eat them up. Delicious. Um, and it, it's pretty cool, dude. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, Because I, I played this the first time, and I'm like, you know what? Because I never did this. I never did. Like I said, Super Battle Road is a fucking dream. It's only on Saturday. First of all, I'm out, I'm out there. I'm getting hosed. You know what I mean? We busy Saturday, right? Plus, we go into Temple. So, Super Battle Road isn't around all that much where I'm, like, sitting there fucking playing it 24-7. Um, and I never did the Super uh, versus Super STR because, one, like I said, I don't play it anyway that heavy. And two is the simple fact of the matter that I have a shit-tier Extreme AGL team up until recently. Up until, I, with Baby, it's definitely become a lot better. And as you can see, straight into the battle, straight transformation. Come on. Come on, dude. What else do you want? What else What else do you want from a fucking card? Like, that is badass. Like, it. the only... I, Dude, the thing is, if I'm not mistaken, AGL... Um, what's his name? Fucking the asshole with the sword. AGL Tapion. I believe if you're in that category, his leader skill actually increases the odds. 
So, like, for example, you know, like, uh, you know, Tech Bardock TUR has, like, may become Great Ape, which is, like, a 50% chance or something like that. Whereas with this baby, I'm, I'm guessing it's, like, an 80% chance. So I can only imagine what the fuck this baby does under a AGL Tapion lead. I'd be interested to do that. I don't know how good that team is, because, again, the fucking Great Apes are kind of lackluster. I mean, I'm thinking, when I say lackluster, I'm thinking of Borgos, who gives a fuck. I'm thinking of Shugesh. He's okay, but what the fuck? And then, look at it. Dude, you got Baby over here. Like, that's crazy. He put in OD work, killing motherfuckers. Or almost killing people. As you can see, I kind of got trigger happy where I didn't want to kill people. Because I'm like, listen, I want this to keep going along, as long as possible. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I drew this out. <laughs> I drew this out and made this longer than it needed to be. Because I wanted to see him transform again. Because <laughs> I'm like, I was like a fucking 12-year-old. I'm like, yo, I want to see... I want to see him transform into a big monkey. That's what I want to see. Um, but as you're about to see, I don't know if he's going to get big bad bosses, but if he gets big bad bosses, baby, by himself, with just big bad bosses, no other um, attack links. I don't even know if he has any other significant attack links. Uh, does 3 million damage, or close to 3 million. At least for the friend, it was 3 million. With me, it was probably like 2.5 or some shit. But, uh, if he gets Big Bad Bosses, yeah, dude, look at that, fucking 3 million with just Big Bad Bosses? That's pretty fucking significant. Again, he does not have Fierce Battle. He only has, um, Shattering the Limit. So, I can only imagine what it'd be like if you were to add 15% to that. I, I guess he, he's kind of suffering from what LR Majin Vegeta has, where it's, he's so fucking strong. The game's like, listen, we can't give this motherfucker, um... A fierce battle because it just going it it, 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 it it just won't be fair uh but i let me just say no joke uh i definitely would recommend pairing this uh st uh not str the uh hell's bell 17 with this uh baby because 17 first of all what i did with the 17 i put dodge and additionals when 17 super attacks he lowers attack so after 17 does like two super attacks there's a decent damage reduction it's not greatly reducing attack unfortunately uh, but he is a free-to-play card. He's not too bad. Look at that, 2.8 million. And that, that's not even big bad bosses. That's just him fucking existing. Um, and again, like I said, every time Baby does an ultra super attack, he lowers attack and defense. So every time he attacks, you're lowering the attack and you're also lowering defense, which eventually does add up and you end up doing a shit ton of damage, um, which is pretty cool, honestly. I, 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 like, I like this card. I mean, he's definitely fun. Um, as for like the category, the category's all right. You know what I mean? But I feel like the f the most fun thing is the Great Ape functionality. Like, who gives a fuck about categories? You know what I mean? Like, you could bring, you know, fucking Realm of Gods team category, and it's probably, let's be honest, it's probably better than the Artificial Intelligence, because out of the Artificial Intelligence team, how many fucking LRs do you need? You need LR Cell, you need LR fucking Metal Cooler, in order to make it worthwhile, basically. Uh, Buhan is not bad, he, he, he is technically free to play, quote unquote, with the Red Dragonstone, if you fucking, you know, play for three years and only pick him, um, let's get him rainbow anyway, uh, but I definitely feel like that, there's not enough characters for that team, and I feel like most people will not have all the cards for that team, so, but I think for Extreme AGL, as you can see here, I have two free to play cards, and this motherfucker is still dominating Super Battle Road, uh, when it comes to category, I don't know if we'll do as well, because those are a lot harder, um, but, I mean, for me, personally, it, who gives a fuck, it's basically the fun factor, and as you can see, I did get him to go great ape one more time, so, I, I think he's gone great ape out of, what, five battles, five or six times, not bad, I'd say those are pretty good odds, definitely kind of force it with this transformation, but I don't give a fuck, it looks cool, alright, he's a gigantic golden monkey, alright, he looks very cool, um, but yeah, he's, he's fucking fun, man. He is really fucking fun. And you could definitely do this with a friend. Like, if you don't have this card, you can obviously just bring him as the Extreme AGL leader. Have Majin Vegeta or GT17 uh, be the leader. And then it's pretty much the same shit. Uh, only difference being is that you kind of lower your chance of RNG. Where you can, um, you know, basically have those back-to-back -back transformations. It's not likely... It's more than likely not going to happen, but it is possible, all right? It is possible. That's the name of the game. It ain't about what's going to happen. It's about what might happen. So, as you can see, pretty straightforward. Um, definitely relied on his grade 8 mechanic because that's, like, the most fun thing. You could definitely play this more defensively. You know, if you bring, like, Golden Freeze in, play it more defensively. 
uh, you would have Baby Vegeta out more. He would do more, you know, attack and defense reduction and stuff like that. But who gives a fuck about that? I'm trying to see this motherfucker turn, to, turn into a golden ape and wreak havoc. So I definitely think that he's a pretty fun card. He's a really good friend leader, by the way. I mean, he's pretty much one of the best, if not the best, extreme AGL leads to bring as a friend. So don't sleep on your boy, baby Vegeta. You don't need to pull this man to have fun. Go to Super Battle Road, pull whatever bullshit AGL leader, and take this guy on a wild ride and watch him wreak havoc as a monkey.